All right, so today let's discuss about One UI 3.0, which is already running on most of the Samsung flagship devices in beta or in stable versions. And we have already discussed about all the new features which are available in this iteration of Android 11. In this video, let's discuss about certain things which could have been better on One UI 3.0. And these are just my thoughts and opinions. I could be wrong here. I want you guys to let me know about the points that I'm going to discuss here today. And you can also let me know about the features or changes which could have been executed better on One UI 3.0. All right, so before we begin, if you're new on the channel, I request you guys to hit the subscribe button to support us. Leave a like for the video if you find it useful. Now let's get right into it. Now the first one is about the quick panel. It's a welcome change as far as this section is concerned. We've got this nice looking transparent panel now and we also have few sections like devices, media, etc. But Samsung could have offered us an option to increase or decrease the transparency of this panel. That would have been fantastic. They could have given us a toggle or they could have given us an option like this brightness bar which would enable us to reduce or increase the transparency. Another thing to note is when we swipe down the notification panel or the quick panel, the search option, power button and settings button are placed all the way on top right corner. Whereas on One UI 2.5, these three buttons were easily reachable with your thumb and it was placed right above the quick toggles. Now to reach these three buttons on One UI 3.5, you have to use your other hand which actually beats the purpose of the whole concept of One UI. I was actually thinking we would get an update for this and we will have these three buttons about the notification toggles, but I don't think that's gonna happen. All right, another thing is when you expand this brightness bar, we will see this entire panel looking really empty. We have got the level here and we have got a toggle for adaptive brightness and this whole space looks empty and boring. Perhaps they could have added some functionality on this particular layout to make use of it in a better way. Again, that is just my thought. You guys can let me know about it. All right, now let's talk about changing the default launcher on the phone. On One UI 2.5, if you had to change the default launcher, we had to go to the settings, open applications, then hit the three dot on the top right corner, select default apps, and then go to home application and change the default launcher. That was quite a lengthy process, isn't it? I badly wanted this to be more convenient. On One UI 3.0, it's actually better. Now you can just go to applications and uh, select choose default apps. There we can select the default home application. I really wanted this feature to be made available on home screen settings. When we press and hold the home screen, we do have the setting option here. I feel we could have had an option right here to change the default home launcher. All right, now let's go to device care and battery options. Here we see a lot of changes and we have an all new revamped battery usage chart since the full charge, which is a welcome change. And now we can easily check out the screen on time of your device by just taking a glance at this particular chart. And when you swipe that, you will be able to see the last seven days battery usage as well, which is in the same old form. We have these bar charts and the screen on time is calculated from 12 a.m. till the time you are using your phone. The second page could have given me a similar chart for each day and could have given me the screen on time of each day for the last seven days. Whenever I want to check the screen on time for the past few days, I do not want to sit and calculate the usage. So I don't see the purpose of this. So this could have been a bit better. All right, now the last point I wanted to discuss is about the dynamic wallpaper for home screen. This feature is just fantastic and it has improved a lot with this particular iteration of One UI 3.0. Now we can select at least about five categories of wallpapers for your lock screen. But I wonder why this option is not made available for your home screen as well. Just imagine having all these beautiful wallpapers on your home screen which spontaneously changes every time you lock and unlock the phone. We use our home screen a lot more than our lock screen and we never stick to one particular wallpaper on our home screen anyways. So a dynamic home screen wallpaper setting would have been really great in this section and I hope Samsung provides this. All right, so these are the few things which I wanted to discuss in this video. I could be wrong in some of these aspects. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong and do let me know your thoughts about this and do let me know what do you think about this One UI 3.0 and also let me know which are the features you would have wanted on this particular iteration of One UI in the comment section below. I'm sure you will have loads of things to discuss here. So drop a comment below. That's all I have here. If you find this video useful, do hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel as well. Until the next one, you guys take care and stay safe. 
Cheers, bye-bye.